Psalm 24. Psalms of David. It is a song. It is a praise. It is saying how good God is. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, world, and they that dwell therein. For he has pounded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? For who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, righteousness from God, all his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy faith, O Jacob, Sarah. Verse 6, one more time. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy faith, the Jacob, Sarah. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come unto you. We are still in shock. To Brother Jimmy. But there is no surprise unto your plan. And help us understand. Through this hardship through this unknown let us open our heart and read through your word to understand what the meaning of reveal unto us Lord reveal the truth and the fellowship, as precious as it is, Lord, we look unto you this moment. Bless us as we gather, as in this building or through the internet, whatever the medium is. Let us see you at this moment. Give a special time with you and the word apply unto our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So Psalm 24 is right after 23. David says, Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture, leaves me beside still water. He restores my soul, he leads me in the path of righteousness, his name's sake. Though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. So thy rod and staff, the shepherd has the staff. Rod to keep the sheep one direction, keep the sheep in a safe place. Because of that, I'm confident. Because of that, I sit here with you, Lord. 
see that coming back Psalm 24 that is in the beginning God created this earth and heaven together all the universe separate water and the land through the flood made this nation at the same time made me we're talking about birthday the birthday you know the birthday you become the citizen of Japan or United States and we Baptists have another birthday born again Amen. when you live forever with Christ Jesus so we come the last verse we just read this generation of them that seek him seek the Lord where is our God. When we watch the news, when you open up a newspaper, do we have a newspaper? <laughs> How many people subscribe to newspaper? Oh my goodness. You still have a newspaper? Oh, I think you can. That's once a week. I've been talking about it. Every Sunday, I'll get the newspaper big. Come with a 35 coupon. <laughs> Take you all week to read it. Yeah, that's right. And the comic part have to have those things. <coughs> seek God. Seek the praise what we have. And so these hard times, we need to seek God. Search God. So we look for the evidence of God. Even though we are awful times, awful generation. Psalm David repeat that, that the seek thy faith, faith of Jacob, the God of Jacob. So I study, I don't do <laughs> Study enough, but I study. Look into the Hebrew. The, I just wonder this. Seek him and seek thy face. Came twice. So I look into the strong conqueror, and the strong says, first seek, seek the uh, seek what? Seek him. Seek the Lord. That is D A R A S H. Darosh. I can butcher the Hebrew. I can butcher English and everything. I try the Chinese, but Chinese is just a little bit weird. Uh, whatever the Jewish is, inquire. Make inquisition. Ask questions. Search, seek, yeah, seek. So seek God, right? And then seek His face. That seek is a different Hebrew original. That is B U Q A C H. But quash, quash, whatever. Inquire. Search, seek, yeah, that's same. But more of that, make request. And the favorite one I just found, bah, hit my, between my eyes, it says, to strive after. How about that? To strive after. First one, the seek is hide and seek. You know, God, I'm lost. Where are you? Then after you find, is this God? 
Are you God? You know, I met my angels so many places, so many times in my life. Strangest place. And one of the angels of mine is uh, my landlord. I bought a house when I came to the United States, and he was just like Brother Fred. He was way up in the 80s, 87, 88, and uh, he had my house and next house, and all. many times he was on the roof, cleaning up the chimney. Brother Fred is doing that. <laughs> But he just come in my house and I was just don't know nothing, not much of English and uh, not much of a job, not much money. Hard mm. time. And he comes in and uh, me and Trish talking to him and it's just five, ten minutes just regular talk. And when he left, we just had an uplifted spirit. And wow, he just came to cheer us up. And that kind, the presence of the angel. God, who are you? Let me seek you. Then, Seek the face. You strive after. You make request. If you are God, I need your help. If you are God, you cannot bargain, right? But somebody do. Let's open uh, Genesis. 32. Genesis chapter 32. This is Jacob. And on the field, and Jacob had some tricky life. Is that correct? <laughs> he liked the brother and then get the brother right. Then, okay, we're going to meet together. Yes. I'm going to say I'm sorry. But he was scared to death. So upon the mountain, Genesis 32, verse 24, that Jacob was left alone. He was with his wife. You go that way. I'm going to go up a mountain and uh, pray. But his prayer is not just a prayer, was it? Verse 24, it says, Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled the man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of the tie and the uh, hollow of Jacob's tie, and out of joint he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go. For the day breaks, and he said, I will not let the Go, except our blessing. He was wrestled with angels all night long. Wow. What kind of prayer is that? Yeah, that is life changing moment. Lord, I I did wrong to my brother. Let me meet my brother. Let me talk to him. But I'm scared to death. Prayer was there. And wrestle with the angel of the Lord. And I'm joint on that pie. I've been running for a little while and my left leg is hot when it starts running. It's there we go, getting old. <laughs> and after two rounds, that is half mile, then 
and start like a, you know you don't need to choke anymore <laughs> get, get it going but God I won't let you go make sure you presence with me bless me let me see your work upon my life is that what it says I will not let thee go except bless me in that bossy no that's what David is saying see God Ask the question, request, ask the request. You're striving after it. Our life is, oh my goodness. I'm glad the school year is over. Well, wow, that was just, what was going on? You know, every period you just wipe off the desk, making sure the next person is safe. And you try to help one student, and next morning she didn't come back. Back. So the principal asked, "Do you stay with close contact in 15 minutes requirement for the quarantine?" So how do? You meet hundreds of students. And uh, that's the, the, you know, at the funeral we talked about going through his COVID and pneumonia and all the health problems I went through. So strive through it though, that <sighs> same time. The song said, by faith we can see afar. You know the internet sometimes doesn't work. The voice cannot come. There's no screen. I can hear your voice, but there's no screen. I like to see my faith strong enough to see the way far off. I'm not talking about two miles away, ten miles away, no. I'm talking about five years from now, ten years from now, or eternity with God. Okay. That's the face, that's the striving after, that's the seeing the face of God, of Jacob. Have you ever wrestled with angel of God? Listen, that's the prayer. It's a so, so strong desire. God, keep me safe. I don't know what my brother is going to do. But let me see. Bless me. So the angel did bless Jacob. He changed the name to Israel. It comes up. But go down to the verse 30. And Jacob called the name of the place of Daniel, for he, I have seen God face to face. And my life is preserved. Wow. That's the assurance, right? Next chapter, he's going to go meet Esau. But the, the morning breaks. At that moment, Jacob is by himself. But already settled because God blessed Jacob. Your name will change it to Israel. You will be A-OK. -okay. 
And the Jacob called that place new name of Peniel. And I have seen God face to face. Is that God? Nobody see the God face to face. But he saw this angel wrestled all night. Surely he understand the presence of God. He understand what the command of God. And that's what I've seen God face to face. More of that, this assurance is so strong. God preserved my life. How about that? In our life, going through so many things, on treatment after treatment, test after test, doctor visit after doctor visit. And tell you, I told you many times, age of 45, I had open heart surgery. Because one day, I was on the way to work and uh, driving, but I cannot hold the, both hands to the steering wheel. My chest was hard so bad. So I put like this. <laughs> and I had to drive from Mount Mew to Little Rock, UAR campus. So 105 miles. And there's no way I can drive like this and turn around and come back. Did I tell you about the chicken and dumpling? Yeah, I went back to the house and uh, complained trees my wife and said, remember you cooked the chicken and dumpling and uh, kids didn't eat it. I ate the whole pot. <laughs> I got a heart bone and a half. Give me the uh, time or something, bring it back. She was on the way to take the kids to school. You, I left like at 5 o'clock and came back at 6 or 7 o'clock. About eight o'clock, the school after sent the kids to school. Trish came back and said, "You got to go to the hospital. Sitting by the town, and you having a heart attack." I she was working in the hospital, so she know what's going on. She said, "You having a heart attack. You got to go to the hospital." Hey, I'm okay. I just sleep, lay down a little while. So I lay down 30 minutes and Trish was calling everybody. Dr. Mongo, lost you. And uh, I felt kind of settled down, like I lay down 20, 30 minutes. Got up, went to the kitchen and uh, tried to drink some water. And the sweat just popping up everywhere. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I guess I'll go to the <laughs> emergency room. So, Trish drove like a crazy, went to the emergency room. There's another funny story too. Emergency, the uh, doctor, doctor showed bless his heart. He said, uh, are you Japanese, right? Yeah, there's no heart attack, don't worry about it. <laughs> So he wired up and everything and looked through the uh, heart monitor. And I'm watching the heart monitor. Oh my goodness, my chest heart. Going like this. It's just going flat like a two second. And pop, 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 pop. so the heartbeat is 140, 75, 160. It's just crazy. Illegal heartbeat, right? Yeah, I should understand what they're going on. So, we, that flat line you're watching, it's a strange feeling. You better come back, you better come back, though. <laughs> so, Dr. Schultz said, Well, I guess this machine is messed up. <laughs> so, he got the new machine to fix. 
And meanwhile, the Alan and uh, my wife Trish was just throwing fears. Italy, attack. Do something. Come to find out, I had a hole in my heart between the chunk. Birth defect is a common, they said. Sometimes you need surgery, sometimes a few years after the birth. It cured naturally. Mine cured of what? It took me the 45 years. And my mom <laughs> told me after the surgery, my mom said, you went to the United States because this surgery in Japan is not a common thing. And well, Okay, <laughs> so uh, strange things, but the, during that time, <clears throat> you just lay on the bed and watching the ceiling, and that heartbeat is going flat line. So, Wrestle with angel of God, or whatever your prayer is. When the unknown things hit like a ten-ton bricks, we need to go back. Yeah, we need to wrestle with God's help or whatever it takes. You need to get the shoe. Overnight prayers, Jacob said, I'm going to change this mountain to the name because God restored my life. God promised me I'm the head of the nation of Israel because of the God's promise. Because my, I have a faith in God. And my God is faithful. Right? God's faithfulness is settled. From the beginning of this universe, always, it's constant faithfulness, year after year, month, day after day, faithfulness show up. The problem is, my part, my faithfulness is just so wavering, so scared to wrestle with angel God. But to get the assurance, you need to inquire, make a request. You strive after this God's way. Yeah, it's hard. It's not easy. But there is a promise. Jacob said, my life is preserved. Through the prayer, he understood the will of God. The song said, by faith, we can see it afar. We need to find that assurance. So the assurance is John 14. Book of John, chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Brother Ross preached this message to funeral. There's a place after this life. Because the promise is Book of John chapter 14. And verse 2 said, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. It is a place, the construction going on all that time. And the construction crew will not complain about the lumber is so high or the real estate the price is so high. Way beyond that. I like the song. I have the house. When you open the front door, there's a gold street right to the front porch. 
How about that? That's almost as good as Catfish Pond right beside the song. That's the promise of God. You feel that? There's a price in hell. Wait. And if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again, receive you unto myself, and where I am, there ye may be also. Strange things with quarantine. I was in my bedroom, bedroom has a bathroom, so kitchen is right beside. So just 20 feet is a movement. I can go just about everywhere. Didn't go to store, nothing. My kids took care of that. And the kids is about 50, it's the other side of the house. They have bathroom there and wearing the mask all the time. So you are by yourself. Quarantine. But the, still the same. If the Jacob find that assurance, same way, in the ICU unit, in the cancer treatment ward, with nursing home of the one room, where the presence it is, God is with us. He gotta be. Why? God created this universe, correct? God created this tiny globe. God created this pandemic. If that no surprise to God, there is the plan behind this pandemic. And we need to understand what we're going through. We need to strive after the God's presence, God's instruction, and the help of God. And just like Jacob said, thank you, Lord. You preserve my life. Amen. That's what this is. Assurance of God is in here. Promise of God is in here. So our life is connected to this eternity. I don't know what the eternity is. But endless joy, endless praise, endless singing, I'm frustrated. I cannot sing at the nursing home for a long, long time. What about jail ministry? We had a great time with jail ministry. No. But one of these days, we will sing, and day after day, you may not like it or whatever. Praise unto God. Let not your heart trump. Let's seek after God and strive after God. Let's do that. Amen. Let's all stand.